Now this Nissan Titan has our convenience package and it also has our auto self start. Just like with your regular Nissan Intelligent Key, you have a lock, unlock, and panic button. Obviously not a lot of people know what the panic button does besides finding your vehicle in a parking lot at HEB or Home Depot. Just real quick, want to be able to go over, there is a strategic reason why the panic button is located on all these key fobs. The idea behind it is if you are being followed or you believe you're being followed to your car and have nobody around and you want to be able to make sure that you have a scene without you know, drawing too much attention to yourself, simply press the panic button. What do most people associate with the police? Lights and horns. Draws attention to the truck and the scene that's going on, allowing you to be able to exit off to the side to a well-lit area where there's other people. Little known fact, that one's for free. But the way that the self-start works is hit the lock button twice in a row, press the top button for five seconds, truck starts itself. This one does have automatic climate control for driver and passenger and two sensors that measure temperature, one on the outside, one on the inside. The idea is if it's 110 degrees outside like it is today and the interior of the truck is at 120, it wants to be able to turn on the air conditioner and run as quickly as possible to be able to get it down to 80 degrees inside the cabin. Also works in reverse when it's cold outside. If it's 40 degrees outside and it's 55 degrees inside your truck, it'll automatically turn on the heater, crank it up as far as it'll go just to be able to get the truck to 80 degrees. So the idea is when you get inside of it, it's going to be at a very comfortable temperature. Now this will run for 10 minutes by itself. The alarm is still activated and all the doors are locked. If somebody were to be able to break a window or get into the truck without having the key, they wouldn't be able to start it. Actually, if they tried to start it, the truck would turn itself off. After 10 minutes, the truck turns itself off and goes basically back into its locked and armed position. You can extend that time by 10 more minutes by simply repeating the process, hitting your lock button once, pressing and holding the remote start for five more seconds, to add an additional 10 minutes for a total run time of 20 minutes. If you decide that you're not leaving and you want to turn the vehicle off, simply press and hold the start button and then the truck turns itself off. Now on this Titan, you have a button on the front driver and passenger doors, which are selective door lock and unlocks. By simply having the key in your pocket and a purse, backpack, within about four feet of the door, you can see the door is locked, press the button once, it unlocks the door. Press it one more time, you can hear it beep twice, the doors are locked and the alarm is set. Now what I mean by selective is, if you come to this door and hit the button once, it just unlocks this door. If you go to the passenger side door and do it, it unlocks just the passenger door. That's a safety feature to make sure that nobody else can be able to gain entry from the other side. Hitting both the button, hit the button twice, it unlocks all the doors so all the occupants can be able to get in the front and rear. So let me show you the operation of the Nissan Intelligent Key. Key is inside the truck. Simply just put your foot on the brake pedal, press the button once, the truck starts up. Very easy to be able to operate. Once you get used to it, if you've never used an intelligent key, it becomes second nature. Now let's say that you want to be able to run accessories on the truck without having to be able to actually turn it on. Simply take your foot off the pedal, keep the key inside the truck, press the button once, it goes to your accessory mode, push it one more time, then it actually goes to the on position, and then to start the truck, foot on the brake, press the button, the vehicle starts. To turn off the truck, just as simple as pressing the button one more time. 